Good morning, YouTube. Hope everyone is doing well. <clears throat> Welcome back once again to another episode of the Rebuild Series 191.2 this morning. Um, uh, blood's coming down a little bit slow today, uh, or this week, I should say. Um, uh, I have noticed probably for the last week that uh, my body just doesn't feel like it's digesting the food I've been giving it for or very well um, uh, so everything feels like just it's moving a little bit slower and all that stuff so not sure if the two are related but it is what it is um, uh, so but hopefully I think the low last week was 190 even on uh, Saturday morning so I think we'll still get there Wednesday squats headed to the gym right now um, uh, overall I feel pretty good sleep felt decent so got a top single today we hit 220 last time on squats I want to say it was four three not sure um, uh, goal is to beat that today so Yesterday, super, wound up being a super busy day at work. We had, it's the first of the month, so tons of bills are due. Uh, I ran payroll, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, and then uh, had to take care of some stuff at home, so didn't get to do any like a uh, wrap up stuff. It is what it is though. But we've about got all of our uh, normal, I guess, to do stuff taken care of already, so. I really try and cram as much as I can Monday through Wednesday, and that way, almost in a way, you know, Thursday, Friday, I get to have extra time to do little projects and stuff like hang those shelves and buy the materials for that. That's how I do, try and do it anyways. But we'll see what we get into today. I'm uh, not sure uh, exactly what we'll do uh, this week project-wise. Um, I'm trying to really tighten up the budget for a little bit um, uh, I'm uh, no in particular reason of just want to see what's a good way well the real reason is I want to see how much I can crank out because I kind of want to buy a new guitar <laughs> so I just and I think I was a little bit sloppy last week overall with uh, my spending so I told myself that uh, all of this week don't buy anything uh, out of just your normal groceries and stuff just uh, try and tighten it up and try and balance that back out because I got a little bit I think I spent too much last week so but I digress so as usual we're gonna head to the gym we're gonna get warmed up get focused for this uh, leg day and uh, see what we can do so we're gonna drink the pre-workout get warmed up try and win this day so let's go Okay, YouTube, let's get this training footage review underway from this Wednesday squat day and leg accessory day, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, this is the third squat day of this four-week wave, uh, and this will be the heaviest day of the four-week wave uh, since week four is always kind of a deload a uh, week from compound movements. Um, so we've had two really good uh, squat days before this, and the main goal today was just to continue that momentum. And I'll be honest, through the warm-up, um, even under the bar up to 135, I did not feel great. I didn't feel like just super raring to go or anything, but this turned out to be a crazy good squat day and leg day overall so I'm super happy with that because mentally I really didn't want to have you know last week it was kind of a, a midday so I didn't want to have two kind of very average squat days at best um, uh, so this is one thing that I think might be a contributing factor uh, we spent extra time doing some uh, seated leg extensions and some uh, seated leg curls. We did extra rounds before we got under the, under the bar, uh, mostly because someone was on this rack, and so we just spent a little bit of extra time warming up. Um, uh, but I was hoping that would make me feel better, but it really didn't, but it turned into a good day overall. So we had low bar back squats today, kind of usual. Um, uh, the rep schemes, we were gonna try and hit a set of five, set of three, and then a set of one or more 
at the top weight. Um, uh, working set weights today were 175, 195, and 220 for the top set. Um, uh, like I said, warm up 45. We went 45 for three, 95 for three. Uh, just one thing that I'm kind of toying with is not doing as many warm up sets or warm up reps. Um, uh, just doing two or three and then progressive, uh, progressively just adding weight instead of doing, because I would always try and do like a set of five, set of five, set of five um, uh, to be really warm. Just something I'm toying with. Um, uh, like I said, once we got through 135, I was kind of like, oh, this is going to be kind of mid uh, at best. So we'll see what we got. But for whatever reason, I was able to hit the weights and then some. So 175 for five felt good. 195 for three felt uh, pretty good. And then we hit 220 and we wound up doing it for five, which is a training cycle uh, best. So yeah, it came out of nowhere. I was really impressed that we hit that for five. My real goal was, hey, let's just hit it for two and uh, see what we can do. Since uh, last week, I think we hit like 210 for three or something like that. So to hit 220 for five was awesome. Awesome. Took a lot out of me and then it was kind of like, okay, well, we'll just, we got a big win on squats. We'll just kind of do our accessory work and uh, go home. But then <laughs> The accessory work turned out pretty good. So last week I noted that I didn't go crazy on the heels elevated high bar squats. Uh, I did at best last week a set of 10 and I've gotten better each week that I've done these. Like the first uh, session we only did like sixes and eights. Last week we worked up to 10. And this first set uh, we wound up hitting it for 12, which in my brain I was kind of like, all right, we made more progress um, so I was like, we're going to call this one a win uh, for a set of 12. And the next uh, sets, because we were planning to do three, uh, not that they won't matter, but, hey, we got our win on the 12. Um, uh, we're just going to cruise and maybe hit some smooth sets of eights and uh, move on to the rest of our accessories. Well, then I got it for 15. <laughs> So I don't know what was going on today, but that was super, super cool. Um, uh, I got to eight and I was just like, okay, I can definitely get to 12 again. And then when I got to 11, I was like, well, we need to beat 12. And uh, yeah, then I was just like, well, let's go for 15. And uh, took a quick pause, cranked out the last couple reps, but super pleased. This is, I'm pretty confident to go on record to say, this is the most I have ever done that for in any point of my lifting career, even back when we were squatting above 300, that I don't think I would have done that for a set of 15, which was pretty, pretty cool. From there, it was just three rounds of a super set of uh, lying leg curl. We went 100 for 17, 16, and 15 reps. Um, uh, super set of that with hip adduction. We did 130 on the stack for 26, 26, and 25 reps. So making gains on both of those, those were training cycle uh, best right there as well. So back to the garage, we did hanging knee raises, stick twist, uh, and a little bit of ab complexes, nothing crazy. But the leg day was awesome. Did uh, some seated good mornings. Um, we only did two rounds of uh, this today. I'm not gonna lie, we kinda slacked a tad bit on the GPP, but I told myself like, hey, we had a crazy good, you know, leg day. Uh, and then I actually did lunges today on top of that. We went 120 meters, which the last couple of days or what, last couple of leg days, we've slacked off on the lunges. So we, we cranked it out pretty good today. Came back in, of course, did our rotator cuff work, daily push-ups, all that kind of stuff and got ready for the work day. Um, uh, <clears throat> super busy week, a lot of stuff going on at the store. Content's pretty light. Uh, besides just the training footage. So I apologize about that, but I'm doing what I can do and uh, making time when I can. So from here, we're going to wrap it as usual. I hope you get 1% better. I hope you get some small wins. I hope you're doing well, and I will see y'all next time.